Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Jekyll on Windows. There's a couple different ways that we can go about installing Jekyll. But when it comes down to it, we're going to be using something called the Ruby Gems Package Manager. And Ruby Gems Package Manager is basically just a program that allows us to download, install, and maintain Ruby programs. So in addition to using this Ruby Gems program, we're also going to have to install the Ruby programming language on our Windows computer. And I'm going to show you exactly how to install Ruby, install Ruby Gems, and then install Jekyll using Ruby Gems. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to my web browser, and I'm over here on this Ruby installer for Windows page. And you'll see up here it's rubyinstaller.org forward slash downloads. And this is like the official site that you can go to to download the Ruby installer. And it's basically just a program that's going to allow us to install Ruby on our computer and it'll basically do everything for us. Now down here, the current version of Ruby is 2.4. And I just want to give a quick disclaimer. If you're trying to download a version of Ruby that's below 2.4, so 2.3 and lower, the instructions in this tutorial might not work. And that's because the way that you install Ruby 2.3 and lower is a little bit different than the way that you install 2.4 and above. They sort of change the way that this Ruby installer works. So that's just a quick disclaimer. In my case, I'm going to download Ruby 2.4.2 and I'm going to download the 64-bit version because that's what matches my operating system. So I'm just going to click this and it should start downloading. And I'm just going to open it up inside of my downloads folder. And right here, I just have this Ruby installer. I'm going to double click it and it should open up this Ruby installer window for us. So I'm going to accept the license and you want to specify the path that Ruby should be installed. In my case, it's just in the C drive and you want to make sure that add Ruby executables to your path is checked and that you're associating .rb and .rbw files with the Ruby installation. So this looks good to me. I'm just going to click install and that's going to go out and install Ruby. Once that's done installing, there's actually one more thing that we need to do and there should be a checkbox here. It says run RIDK install. You want to make sure this checkbox is checked and we're going to click finish. And this should open up a new window and it's right here, Ruby installer for Windows. And you'll notice that there's three options here. And basically what we're going to do is just run all three of these options in order. That's the way that I found to be the best. So I'm just going to hit one and I'm going to click enter and this is going to go off and install MSYS2, which is a program that we need to install Jekyll. So I'll just click next and we'll install this. Once that's done running, you can just uncheck this run MSYS. We're not actually going to run that. I'm just going to click finish. And now down here, I want to enter in two. So we just ran one and I'm going to enter in two, which is to run the MSYS2 system update. So I'm just going to click two and hit enter. And this is going to go off and update all of the packages and everything that we need to install the development tool chain, which is what we're going to install next. Once we finish installing all of those updates, we're going to run this third option. So it's going to install MSYS2 and MINGW development tool chain. So I'm just going to click three and we'll click enter and this will go off and install that development tool chain for us. When that installation is finished and we've now run all three of those options, we can just exit out of this window because we're finished in there. And the last thing I want to do is open up a command line. So I'm going to go down here to my search bar and I just want to type in CMD and just click enter. This will open up our command prompt. And inside this command prompt, we just want to make sure that everything got installed correctly. So I want to check and make sure that we have Ruby installed. So I'm just going to type Ruby hyphen V and that should spit out a Ruby version. And then I just want to type gem hyphen V and that should spit out the current version of gem. So as long as both of those are showing up and you're not getting any errors, then we have everything that we need to finally install Jekyll. So I just want to type gem install Jekyll bundler. And this is going to use this gem Ruby package manager in order to go out and install Jekyll onto our Windows computer. So I'm just going to click enter and we should get a success message that says two gems installed. Now we can just check and make sure that Jekyll is installed. So I'm just going to type Jekyll hyphen V 
and this should spit out the current version of Jekyll on our machine, which is 3.6 in my case. So as long as that Jekyll V command works, then you have Jekyll set up and you're ready to start building your first Jekyll website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.